Nice. I would say the number one thing, Seth, for these is it's going to be... Um, did this get bumped? Nope. Is it reading weird? That last one was weird, yeah. I hit it a little thin. I don't know if that would make a difference. No, uh-uh. Oh, you can set the stiff on this, too. Up this hill? Yeah. Side door. All right, keep that in the go. <clears throat> oh, maybe the towel's thrown it off. about this one. Alright, so we're up over here then, Kevin. <coughs> <coughs> oh no, that one was good. Good? Yep. Don't forget your wig. Seth, what I would say is that we need to start to solidify a feel for our ball position okay. and our camp lift. Because if we, yes, because if we start to get wider, that puts the ball relatively more forward and we're going to start pulling it. If we get narrower, that's the ball more back and we're going to start pushing it. If we're centered, you know what I mean? So it's like yeah. the width is going to help and then also the ball position itself is, is changing as well. So um, we might need to start using something like a mirror okay. to help ourselves find that spot. I use putting mirrors a little bit differently than everybody else. Okay. I don't necessarily need to get you over the ball, or I need to get you at the exact same spot. Eyes what wise. I, yeah, what I do want to have is consistency. Okay. So whatever, wherever you're at, we just want to make sure that you're there every time. looking for is this. You're looking for your eyes to be in the same spot every time. Okay. And that should help your stance be in the same spot every time. Your ball position be in the same time every time. So don't even look at it. Just kind of get set first with the ball and get feel like you're comfortable. And then once you're there, let's identify where you're at. So where are your eyes? They're like like the left eye just behind the ball. Okay. The left eye is like right there it looks like. Okay. I do like, I kind of feel more comfortable a little bit open with okay. my stance. Yep. Uh, a little foot flare and then ball slightly forward. Okay, so if you were to put a stick down. Right. Just forward to center. Oh no, yeah, you're definitely forward to center. I've seen you as far forward as here. Oh, okay. Yep, wow. I've seen you arrange from here to about here. So this is as far back as I've ever seen you. So what we're going to do is we're just going to put this here in, in line with this. I know I used here. to, before I got this putter, I used to push it a lot. Uh -huh. um, so I think maybe like, I mean, further, yeah, further the forward. more yeah. forward. Yeah. I'm put your heel a little closer to this line because this is kind of where you've been today. Okay. Right about there. So now once we're set, we're going to keep our, check our eye spot. Okay. We're going to check our putter spot. We're going to check our foot spot. Then we're going to go. back out of that. How's the face? Yeah, I'm checking that out right now. 
I mean, they've both been like center, center. Strikes, right? Yep. Yeah. That one was a really nice putt. And you were one degree left of target. Face? Yep. Okay. So maybe slightly further middle? Yep. Okay. Definitely did something, right? Yep, that was right. So, I mean, just at setup, it felt like it was gonna go right. Yeah. Gotcha. Yep. Yep. So I, I don't like that position, right? And then we're only one degree left before. Right. Right, so we don't need to move it much here. We kind of doubled our quarter distance, right? Yep. So let's just do like one and a half quarters. Okay. I can't believe how like <clears throat> literally and that it's, much of a difference. And it's you can't forget that we're a human, so like that we do have more variables than just our feet, right? right? Like mentally, like we're moving our hands a little bit and everything. That's about right. That's right there. Last couple, that last one you had was point zero point one degrees right on the face. So that's that's great. Perfect. Yeah, we're in the zone with that. So one and a half quarters. And let's just keep going with that for a few reps and see if we can keep it the same. Okay. 